Hi, everybody. Hello. Good morning. This is Deb. It's Micah. And Sue. We're, We're back. Walking around the table here in Indiana. Of course because it's Sunday morning, and that's what you do on that's, Sunday morning. That's what we do on Sunday morning. And we're recovering from the 4th. Oh, God, where are we ever? You May? must have had a great party. I, there was, It was a lot less people this year than normal. It's because they but are social group, distancing. That could be. But the group that was here was very personable, very friendly. Yeah. So you, you yeah, felt yeah. like it was a bigger party than what it was because people had very big personalities yeah her friend leanne is amazing oh, leanne um, is she's so fun stitch and a half. um they were out there doing They're their testosterone their, thing on the, playing their cornholes yeah and so they were out there and, and and doing the man thing you could almost pick it up you could see the the layer of testosterone <laughs> as you oh up. yeah and then our neighbors <laughs> yeah. have six uh <laughs> other families staying with them for the whole whole weekend oh my god in the house six families and little kids so they had bouncy things out back and water things and water slides and pools and so we had all that going on over there so we even had um, some ducks visit she has her yeah the, the ducks duck that family. live in the pond and they walk up every every yeah. morning and then they walk but i don't know where they go i haven't because they hide somewhere but anyway she yeah. kind of came back and she did her fourth of july with the kids in the in the pond doing oh, yeah. her flapping and it, yeah, it was yeah. really kind of cool so she gave us a show. feeding them no they no. are just doing just their thing around but i tolerate the ducks because the ducks are kind of cool I don't so like the Canadian geese like no. that. So therefore, like if I started feeding the, the ducks, ducks, then the, the geese, geese would, would come over. And They're, the geese destroy my garden. The ducks don't. The ducks just um, they visit. nest. Yeah, well, there is a company visit. in town called the Geese Police, and they oh. will come out and chase the geese. Well, I'm excited. Shamrock, well, the, not, the dog Sherlock. Next, Sherlock, Sherlock oh. next door. He chases the geese. He could probably oh, take care of it. Well, I we they did it. They came and we have no water, and I don't know why they were there. And I know they don't hang with water, but the, we had a group of ducks in the back that at, at your one house? point, yeah, that had it had rained, so we had some water sitting in the back between the yards, and she must have nested right at the right time. Because my neighbor then told me later on that he went out and filled the, the little pond with water mm. so that she could stay. Well, Aww. then these geese started showing yeah. up. Yeah, oh, darn geese. Yeah. So I let the I dogs like the out the front, and they took one look at Bailey, who was like this 90-pound huge dog, and they took off. And for they still, to this day, they walk across my neighbor's yard. They fly across ours. And they walk. They fly across yours because, because of Abner. Because they think the dog and they hear Abner yeah. barking. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. So having a dog for that purpose, because they're mean. I don't like Canadian geese. I've never no, they're, they're not nice. They're so, not nice. They're I'm, like flying rats. I call them flying like, rats. So how was your, um, I left before, Mike had a headache. He was out cutting grass, of course, because that's the major thing you do on a holiday. Right. Um, and so we left about nine and went and got an ice cream cone and then went home. And, because your McDonald's has cones. Do they? They don't have them in Marion County, and I'm very upset about that. Mm. Really? I get That's one of my favorite things, to go to McDonald's and get an ice cream cone. Did you ever have one of those? They're only under, like, 170, 180 calories. It's the only thing McDonald's doesn't put enough sugar in. I mean, like, their sweet tea, I think they put five pounds of sugar in that. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it's sweet, sweet tea. tea. I mean, it is majorly sweet. Now, I know in the South it can be sweet. I do half sweet, and half. But, you know. Yeah, I'm, I like your tea because it is. But, and speaking of I, tea, I have a whole thing of that. It's just sun tea. There's no sugar in it yeah. at all. Oh, okay. Because you know if I'm If you want to take a, 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 a bucket bucket home with you. <laughs> I drink a lot of iced tea, so. <clears throat> She's my tea queen. She's the tea goddess. So. So, I, had, I had Arnold Palmer's. Oh, oh well, nice you could do that too because I have. Yeah, no, I no, still no, have no, some no, lemonade no, no. left. Was, the lemonade wasn't overly sweet, and so it, was it doesn't really matter. Nice put it in there. I know. <laughs> you're you such don't, a like, purist. You it's just, it's it's a, a, yes, I did. I got the oh, wings. You got your wings clipped. I I just put mine in pigtails this morning because I thought I haven't had my hair in pigtails in like fifty mine years. Good until the well, I was like, I'm doing pigtails. I still have a ton in the back. Well, you have very thick hair. Little guy. Sure. It looks great. I mean, if I had yeah, hair like that, I'd die for it. Both of your hairs. I mean, I have, I'm have. i not going to go down that far. Never mind. There's like Yeah, but yours is so fun like, when you do it pink or purple. Yeah, I know. I need to do that. I need to do <laughs> colors again. 
Mikey just sort of looks at me. My husband just looks at me like you're weird. So yeah, well, other than that, so you had a good time. We should know by now that yeah, that I am weird. You're an oh, duck. do you know what we did? My Which son brought his tablet. We went to my mother's house. My son brought his tablet, and we got to watch Hamilton. Oh yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, that's wonderful. You know, I have just, still yet to see it. Oh, it is. I assumed it would be difficult to understand because of the fast clip of the um, singing. Yeah. But it wasn't. I started it last night and it looked pretty good, but I wasn't able, but I knew I wasn't going to have time to finish it, you know, sit and watch it. So I decided to wait. I put, you know, put it on hold, but I have Disney Plus, so yeah, well it's, that's, it's on, it's on Disney Plus, right? Yeah, and, and I have just, it. Well, that's, that's what he had. had. He yeah. brought yeah. it on his tablet. Yeah. The thing, the only complaint I had was the intermission was only 60 seconds. Oh, yeah. I cannot pee in 60 seconds. <laughs> you mean, really? <laughs> really. So they had to put it on hold. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Other than that. That family had to put it on hold. Yeah, so. they had to wait for me. So. But, I, yeah, I realized that it was, like, one of the productions that they did, right? Well, and Lynn manuel Miranda was in it. It really surprised me. I thought perhaps it would be someone else. Well, at the beginning, it says it's June of 2016. Oh, is, does it? So it, they must have, See, that would taped have been... it then, you know what I mean, when he was there. And the one guy that goes across, he's on Bull. Yes, yes. I like him. Um, what is his I name? I can't remember his, his name. name. Matthews. Yeah, I really like him. He's the newer attorney, the guy that played football, and then he, yeah, he yeah, but on gets Bull, he's everybody gay. ready, and he's gay. And But this time he's yeah. George Washington. Yeah, he's I mean, so it was cool. Just, well, I would just love to be George Washington. Though. It's so cool. Well, and I think... I love Thomas Jefferson. Did you did you watch long enough to see him? No, I didn't. And I, I just pretty oh. much got to the introduction of Aaron Burr. I think I lost my stitch marker. At, at one, I know where you can get one. At one so? point, yeah. in the in the as he first comes on the stage, he has a lady walking with him. She's African American, um, and he turns oh, to her. And hands her a piece of paper, and he said, take care of this, Sally. Oh! And I thought, cool. Sally, what was her name? Sally, you know, the, the black slave with he, that he had the children with. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. That's, that's too. It's going to be testing. I've slept between then and now. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, okay. That's why I, I don't pulling, remember. I don't I'd remember actors' names phone. anyway. Unless I don't they're like, either. unless they're like you know. But yet you knew Game of Thrones. We talked about Game. Of yeah, Thrones but I can't. Saturday. I don't know their names. I don't know any of the actors' you names. Knew the character names. Oh, I know the characters' names yeah. from the movie, but I, I yeah. from the yeah. series, but I don't know the the actors' names. There's a new. I'm terrible with them. I'm terrible I don't know with actors. I names. think it's a movie. A new movie coming out. Especially new actors. That Grant was talking about, my son Grant. And and one of the characters in the movie is Kit Harrington, who was um That guy. That guy. Okay. So what guy? Oh I, uh so we're you can remember you guys. You can remember the actors' names, names, but that. you can't remember the characters' and, names, and, and we're just completely opposite. I remember the characters, but not we the, should work together. We uh, people are sitting at home yelling at me, saying, oh, "They are. Or they they will John be." John Snow. Oh, see, I'm. I've his got name this, is Kit. His his real name is Kit Harrington. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. But he's so played John Snow. So enough of the movies and whatnot. What are you working on, my lady? Oh, what I am working on are two new projects this week. This is it's like the craziest two projects I've ever done with my life. This is called. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing these crazy things. This is called Camille, and I'm not sure where I got it. Here's the pattern. It says Camille, and what it is is it's a cowl with a hood, okay? Oh, cool. And you use a bulky yarn. Um, it calls for 11, but I actually got a gauge with my just cheapy yarn that I had because I wanted to make sure it worked. Yeah, well, that's okay. We'll still it's figure called, it out. Um, it's called Big Twist yarns yeah and it's kind of red white and blue where did you get this at i don't know it was in my stash somewhere in there i really like it i want to say i don't know i don't i'm not going to say okay so anyway and it's a real easy it's a four pattern repeat and it four row repeat yeah that's true (laughs) (laughs) four pattern repeat i'm like wow that's okay 
And it, it creates this really one. kind of... Um, it's kind of nubby. Well, and it goes on an angle. Oh, yeah. Diagonal. Oh, cool. Like a diagonal rib. Yeah. A, yeah. Like a diagonal Ooh, a rib. Oh, a diagonal rib. So How I'm, interesting I'm making is that? that? That's fun. It is really fun. So I, it, I've enjoyed working on it. Getting used to the needles again. They probably feel really big. big. Yeah, big they do. Needles. And it's yeah. even worse because the other project I started this week oh. Uh -oh. is I'm being sorry. done on these. <laughs> oh, they're mittens. Mittens on like size one. Four. Oh, they're fours? Those are fours. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, See? you know, I'm putting your, you dipped it in the coffee. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you started two at once? Yeah, what yeah well, that's what, that's what she oh, does with her. Normally, one is on flexi is what, flips or double. What is the yarn? yarn? It is, hold on. Isn't that nice? It's, I not, in your, that. it's not in your middle. It was wound very tightly. It must yes, have been done at the shop. It was. Um, it's Wobble Gobble. <gasps> and I think I got it at Wool O. It's called Frozen Magic. It's really, good, like, Wool O Company or something like that, or Wool Old. I got it online. Um, wobble okay. gobble, wobble gobble. Um, it's beautiful though. It's a green this. and a and a yellow. I mean, like yeah, a pale, not... and it comes out with a little bit of brown through it, and it's very soft. See, yeah, yeah. it's really. It looks. It's and what I nice did is I pulled from the center for one it. this time. Normally, I I split them. And yeah, I you didn't would split know it. that. Yeah, and I want to do but it you're doing a different from the center. Way. So and... I'm doing it from the center on the one, and then I. I decided before I got too far, I would start the other one. So I'm not sure. Cool. I've always done them either with double points and a nine inch or no flexi flexies. flips. Oh, okay, flexi. With the, mm. On the other one. So this time I thought, well, let's try You're it just with. Just doing two rounds. Two rounds nice. and see how they work. And it's going pretty quickly. Um, okay, so which one? So I see you have one on, on metal. metal and one on wood. Which one do you like better? Um, much as I hate to say it, I think I like the, the metal. metal better. But it slides easier. On the smaller needles, I yeah. think so. Plus, these are well, tri Well, each yarn is going to be different. So. And they're a little bit longer. Oh, oh. See, the size is much uh -huh. better. Uh -huh. They're yeah. the chai goose. And that makes a difference, whereas these are so tiny. I actually cast it on with those ones. I think they're clover. <laughs> like the itty bitty ones. Oh, oh yeah. yeah they're, they're, my fingers oh, so are bigger than My that. hands were cramped the, the, and, and everything. The, the actual needle is only about that yeah. big. Yeah. So yeah. next week, hopefully, you'll see um, finished little... mittens. And, and we're going to go from there. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to maybe work this in with a hat or something. I'm going to try and find a couple of colors. And do, I'm sure we can find at... a contrasting color to do the ribbon and then yeah. the rest of the hat. Yeah, we yeah, probably have your ribbon in, in our stash. That we we might. Have. Yeah, true. So that's my week so far. It's been these two items. And I've been cleaning up and I sewed a little bit and got some other things done and created a mask basically mm -hmm. in my house. So that's it. And Sue, onward yeah. to you. Let's see what you've got. This well, is my favorite. <clears throat> I well, when we were doing the Corona cowl, we we'll call it the Corona cowl. Mm -hmm. When we were passing them all, you guys saw them last video. Um, I started. I, I had never done it before, so um, I sometimes just go onto YouTube and put in something new to see what something I haven't done before. And um, so I thought this would be fun because we were using up little leftover bits and so I had lots of little leftover bits and so this is I do have tons do. of lots of I'm, I'm laughing bits. because I have the same <clears throat> well and it's annoying as all piss I'm sorry you got this down like even with my mittens you yeah. got two nice mittens and you're just shy after you weigh it and everything kind of do the math going okay it's about 43 yards per gram you know you're just shy of a hat Meaning, yeah. just shy of the hat that you'd have a hole up here that you could <laughs> knit it, but then you have this hole up we here. You put your or, ponytail through it. Yeah, if you yeah. lay your ponytail up here. Now, some people do, but yeah, maybe she do, Nobody that I've I might be able to do it now. Do I don't know. I got my ponytails so, but today. It's just annoying. So, this, this project, like she said, is perfect. So, uh, I found helical knitting. I think it's called helical knitting. At any rate, it's yep. three different. Um, three or more different colors of yarn that you end up not having a jog anywhere. So um, I did it a few times on our little cowl that we were passing along. And then I thought, well, how much fun would this be to do just one big cowl on with three different skeins of fingering weight 
and just do the whole thing. So a lovely friend of mine, Leah, gave, I think I, no, she gave this to me. Um, this is Lola did it. I think it's called. It's got a bit of a. I think it's called it's Naughty Mrs. Sparkle. Claus. Is it called yes. Naughty Mrs. Yeah. Yes. Naughty Mrs. Claus. So that's this one. And it sparkles. It does have a little bit of sparkle I was in it. Say, I thought I saw a sparkle. Yeah, yeah, it has a little little sparkle in it. This is what is this one? Super stitchy, super stitchy. Never heard of that. I think I got this one in. Um, it's called Flying Purple People Eater. Oh my god! I got <laughs> so it. So I had there. to get it. I had to get it just because it was because Flying Purple name. People yes. Eater. That's you true. know I do that. Had too. to do that, and then this one, this one I got from um, Kristen because it was a yarn barf. Okay. Oh, and okay. she hates yarn barf. Yarn barfs, and so she just kind of said, "Well, if you want to untangle it, you can have it." <laughs> so, um, how do you pronounce that? Valley yarns. Well, it's Valley yarns, but <laughs> Claire Charlemont. Char 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 and evergreen yeah um so and this one is super soft um but i it? found it online i don't know very pink knits maybe or pearl solo Those it's 60 percent superwash merino and 20 percent silk and 20 percent polyamine oh, that's oh. Nice. so yeah that i was like Psh, you got it so yeah so helical knitting is just um you cast on you know however many you want and then like a third of the way through you change to the next yarn and then the other third you change to the next yarn and when you come to your yarn you just switch yarns um to the next yarn go to very pink knits she explains it really well yeah i think it's very pink um knits. i got it from yeah there's a lot of there's, there's a, a lot of them. Just type in helical knitting, and the thing that yeah. I liked about it, I did it on the Corona Cow as well. Is if you put three colors together that you really don't. Well, at first, I didn't think they would match. Three hundred colors. And yeah, you it, can, really, and they kind of came out very sure. I, I was like amazed at yeah. you know, the the colors you could put to any color. You put three three absolutely the wrong colors together and, they and do it, and they just and, yeah, right? and there's no jog. Yeah, you can't see, see a it job. At all. So that's what I've been playing with um, this week. And this little bag is a bag that I got at a bag exchange Fun. at Rhinebeck. Oh, cool! Oh. And it is from uh, Chelsea. I will put the link in. Is it Chelsea? Pearls? No, it's not Chelsea Pearls. It's Leah's friend Chelsea. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm not okay. sure. I think she has a shop. Um, if she does, I'll put it in the link below, um, sometime this week. Um, but yeah, so this was the bag that I got at, in a bag exchange. Um, I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it got, oh, it does have the it's, bright blue lining. It's got a nice lining in it. Bright blue, nice little lining. And I love the little drawstrings. So yeah, that there's yeah. no, yep. there's no like, um, it doesn't I, I like zippers, but zipper I, me and zippers sometimes um, we it don't get along. See, and I I've done them both ways. <laughs> this sometimes works if you have zippers the sometimes little, snag the yarn, and that yeah irritates me. And if you when have the, the little thing, the one is yeah. fine. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you don't have the little things, the twos are much better. They do pull it tighter, you know, yeah. and they stay for some they reason. Two, it stays better, better with one. So, Miss Micah, what are you doing this up, week? Up, 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 up. Oh, I right. have a finished object. Well, she has a finished object. we got to get this on the scene. I, granted, I finished it a little bit ago, but still within the... Um, is she the one to see it? She's already seen it. Okay. Because okay. I put it on my personal... Oh, that's right. You did. Um, like on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, this lovely... Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. Little... See the end here. It's got a lace pattern here. Yeah, it's it's quite big. <laughs> As we go across to the other <laughs> side. Yeah, yeah, we could. Um, so this was this was something that um, oh, yes. my daughter, my daughter and I, when we went to Rhinebeck, she she asked if I would make something for her, and I said sure. Find something. 
you know, because there's stuff everywhere. I said, so find something that you really, really like and we'll, we'll buy the yarn and blah, 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 blah. So, of course, she found this giant wrap. <laughs> Nothing little. They never do. No, 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 no. This giant wrap um, that was done in, uh, like, indie faded speckled yarn. And so it was just, it was stunning, gorgeous. And I love my daughter, but she loves knit things to death. So I asked Miss Leah, um, what would be a very durable, <laughs> easy to care for, <laughs> durable, easy to care for yarn that I could right. use for for this cowl because it will or this shawl because it will be migrating up to Minnesota and it will be worn um, to Persistent. death. Yeah. To death. And so we came up with this oval and it is so soft. So my daughter picked out all of these little colors. This is a Hohi Locatelli pattern that Hohi, I'm so sorry, but I adapted it a little bit um, to my knitting style because I it, I love the, the little lace bit in here, but um, it almost killed me. It did. It did almost kill me. Yes. I, I did one section that I ended up, this this whole lace section. Um, didn't you do that in the car? I did. I did it in the car. I didn't pay attention. I didn't count my stitches. And nine hours of work had to be tore out. So I bribed. Lesson learned going forward. Yeah. Count your stitches. Yeah, count your lace, stitches as you go. sometimes lifeline because if you have to tear back. Yeah. If you can find your error, you might only go back. But lifelines are good for this sort of situation. Yeah. I know some people lose lifelines for everything. but So I bribed Miss Leah <laughs> um, to redo that section for me and then <clears throat> going forward instead of doing the lace section um because another reason because i know my daughter will wear it to death and i figured the more lace up towards this part where it's going to wrap around your head um could easily be snagged oh yeah so instead of doing lace sections i just put in a, a yarn over section and then faded it so these were the colors that she picked out um, oh, wool only comes in solids. So my daughter's favorite colors are purple and teal. And so the gray goes that's really what, well. That's, yeah. what, that's what she picked out. Was, yeah, now we choke you in the process. Was the, the gray and the teal. Yeah, so this it's is... It's lovely. It's really nice. Plus, this is good, and like you said, with, so the, soft. with the knitting around the neck because it's so cold in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. You know, so she, she could, could she could wrap this yeah, could thing six it. times around her head, I yeah. think. So it'll be good. So that's my finished object. It was finished a while ago, but, it, you know. We forgot to bring it. Well, actually, and, we we're going to do it last week, but it cut off. So if we lose you again this week, thank you for watching, mm -hmm. and please stay with us because we'll figure it all out. So there yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. So this is, this, this, I, I, I teased her and I said that it was going to be for Christmas because I thought it would take me that long to do it. Um, and, and I have since told her that she will get it for her birthday, which is in August. Oh my. Um, so then she'll have more time this coming winter to wear it. And I'm Yeah, sure because what, will. they, they have fall in august and winter in september up there, i think, I think you know? yeah in she Minnesota. winter starts in about yeah, october Something and then like goes through may yeah that's true <laughs> so that's me mine. That, yes that, that that's mine this week. let's find out what your internet purchases are this week and yeah, how well you've miss, done on your miss um Micah. <laughs> on your uh one cow that you that one that it's just yeah. whatever mm -hmm. with the i angle. am <laughs> i've made it my mission in life She's doing really well with it too. To look for different dyers. Um, and that's what we'd like to do for you guys as well. Is yeah. find different places. Find the different places. Try different items and things. And Mike is really good at that because she's yeah. great with color. Um, this, I was watching a uh, an episode of Christy Glass and she was interviewing this lady, Kelly Straub. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Kelly is a, uh, an independent dyer. And during the course of the interview, um, 
Christy and Kelly went back to the room where Kelly does all of her dyeing right. and created a dye specifically for Christy. Oh, nice. Nice. for the show. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And so the whole episode was really, to me, and really inspiring. So I got online mm -hmm. and looked for um, Kelly and her yarn and ordered this. It's uh, the name of the company that, that Kelly has created is Shirsty Cat Designs. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yes. I can get it up there. There you yeah. go. Shirsty Cat. Shirsty so it's kind of cat. hard to say. Yeah. And that particular colorway is uh, a mystery. In the uh, Garden of the Mind. In the Garden of the Mind. I tend to nice. gravitate towards purples and teals, and so this really um, suit my fancy. I yeah. have... Um, it's pretty. It's yeah. lovely. I and like it. it. It's, oh, it's um, what? It's... Um, Wool and twenty five percent nylon. Yeah, look so at all those shot. cool colors. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, and I, that's probably going to be my next project oh, on needles. A little look at yeah, look at the color. Color. Let's take it. Nice. I'm like looking it. for like a, a solid to go with it, and that's probably going to be my next design because mm -hmm. in the course of my um, looking for yarn, I contacted Christy Glass and said. You need to know that this this interview in particular really inspired me. Cool. I went online, and Christy responded with oh, cool. um, a, a request that I contact Kelly and tell Kelly that I saw her yarn right. dyeing yeah, yeah, process, yeah. Right. and it motivated me to buy yarn. Sure. So I contacted Kelly, and um, in the process, I've told them that I would post whatever creation I come up with because... That's a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, that's. Fun. And so there's some others that I will. I will they try have to work and on a cool name. Oh, I know. Well, we can yeah, I know. whatever. Yeah, you'll have to do the design first. We'll. Yeah. What you then? Yeah. yeah. And then we yeah. can come up with a cool name. Maybe for, you guys can can kind of, give us we suggestions. Get to that. Yeah, we can maybe have a, a whole a contest. contest. A contest. <laughs> a contest. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And, We'll have to figure out who wins for the Whatever. name. That would be kind of fun. But I'm, uh, my intent is to bring a different dyer each time. Um, <laughs> and Each project. No, each, mm, each, each episode. Each Whoa, episode. you're going to go broke. No, I She's actually am. She's another am, job, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, yeah, the retiree will have to get another job. I, I think maybe you could stash dive and come up with them. Um, I have, well, I, at, at we this point. Could. My coffee table looks very similar to a yarn shop. I have probably <laughs> four other. Oh, good. So that's four weeks worth mm, of bringing yeah. yarn At stuff. least. Mm -hmm. and, and I keep looking on um, Instagram. Yeah. Sure. And looking. But yeah. The black hole. The, the black hole of, oh, gosh, of yarn. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so that that's my intended. And this is very nice and soft. And yeah. um, I think it's going to be really pretty when I, when I get it knit up. I'm looking for a teal. As a contrast, and or this this rosy pink color. Yeah. Um, Here, we'll hold this up again. So, okay. put it in the comment section if you think you might know of somewhere. It uh, looks purpley here, but it is more of a muted purple than this purple. Not this purple. The purple don't here. Don't play with yourself. <laughs> You guys are so funny. She so gonna, I, I thought she was going to hit me. And then... I thought about it, but I thought I'd be nice. <laughs> when, when we go off camera in a few minutes, I'll smack her for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Here. I got her for Got you. it. Thank you. We mm. work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, then, I can't wait. I think it's going to be beautiful. My, um, I, I'm not finished a darn thing, but I'm still working on this treasure. Well, I haven't finished anything. From yet. last week, she had mentioned her I, now, asymmetrical. I, it is asymmetrical, and it's... Well, it's asymmetrical now, but you were just talking about well, making it a may triangle. Be. It's what this is what it is thus far. Um, <laughs> See, this is this Woo! this is what this is what happens. She thinks it's going to be one thing when she starts, and then well, it yeah. ends up being something else. And it, right now, it's called purple haze, but it may its name may change. Um, oh, I like purple haze. Well, it may stay that, and I'm really happy with this stitch pattern. Here, which is yarn overs, but that, it has it raises up a bit. And it raises the extra. Yeah, you talked about it last week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I'm real happy with that. So I've added it in a couple of places. But um, 
as I knit along, I kind of randomly add in colors, and so I don't know how I'm ever going to get this thing written up. Um, we'll figure it out. Anyway, so it's it's a work in progress, and will likely be a work in progress for a while. Yeah, cool. And all that's right. that's that's it. all she wrote. That's, that's all, all she wrote. Well, I've got another one I've started, but. Um, Oh, last week I wore this one. I just wanted to mention. I don't know if I told you or not, guys. This is called Mapito. And this is a nice, oh, yeah, simple you had that little on last week. one skeiner. I got this. It's bamboo pop sock. And it. I love this. Stuff. And you, it is so soft. You increase uh, the. It's a pattern that starts with more stock in it. And then the yarn overs to the point that you end with more yarn overs and less stockinette as you go along. So it's really fun to, to do this. And I finished this. I started it a while ago, but I just finished it. And I mm, finally blocked I like it. it. It was more. But it does. It softens I like it because it's not. Well, I like it because it's not wool. No. For one thing. So yeah. it's a nice little summer well, thingy. Yeah. The other thing about that pattern, I'm, I made that pattern as well and made this huge scarf and never got to the end of the pattern um because it, it goes on forever it goes on forever so you just kind of stop when you either run mm -hmm. out of yarn or, or you're tired of looking at it or it's the size that you want because yeah. you in, you decrease the number of uh stockinette rows you increase the number of Ugh, yarn, yarn over rows yeah. and i i did the pattern i'm gonna on, have to do this it's, oh, it's so oh, it's easy. So soft. And the bamboo oh my pop gosh, sock. It's just so soft. It goes to. It's, it's, it's warm very full. Cool. Oh, cold July days. Yeah, these days. cold July days. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's bigger. It's a bigger thing and it's a finer yarn. So you oh. don't make a lot of progress right away. I mean, it takes quite a while to get to the end because it does have a very you, fine stitch to it. But it's it was so light and easy to work with it never clumped it never I don't stretched think I've ever or anything, done anything and with the sock but the regular bamboo i love bamboo pop anyway bamboo pop yeah it's I one of my favorites. i never i have never yeah. used bamboo pop and then today if it hadn't pop. been 90,000 degrees outside i was going to wear this on the show oh is this this is called but it is you know it's like variation. It's, it's like 100 degrees here it really and like is. 120 well, percent humidity only if you if you factor in the humidity is at 100 degrees oh it's <sighs> terrible <laughs> actual temperature is only 92 no it looks good it looks pretty good looks with good this. with that um, um, this is called be simple variation oh that's a be simple okay and love that one yeah. this one I love that pattern. is an eight row repeat and you can insert you can't you can't put it down you have to no, okay. put it down and I inserted every so often a different color. two colors. Sue had done it, and at the end of hers, mm -hmm. she did a black border. Yeah, and I did mine in all pink. Micah had done it in a green, and then in between, she had done wider bands. So this is, again, something that could easily be done with your um, extras. Again, those. Oh, yeah.